What's up, it's David K, AK Threadability, and I have a question for you today. Have you ever been at the office or working from home or even about to go out and you're in your best outfit, feeling productive and confident just to be thrown off your game because something isn't sitting right? Your undershirt isn't staying tucked or even that tee isn't feeling good or you're even adjusting the boys through the pocket, it's a total confidence killer, right? Confidence shouldn't be reserved for those special nights out or occasion. I want you to feel it while you're at work, at home, no matter what you're wearing, because that leads to motivation and positivity. And I wanna feel confident no matter what I'm wearing. Today, we're talking about the basics of feeling confident in your clothes. If you follow me on Instagram and you've been subscribed here for a little bit, which if you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button real quick, but we talk about confidence quite a bit. It's both an internal mental and physical game and both aspects come together to help you feel confident in what you're wearing. Today, I wanna talk about that physical aspect of feeling confident. And no, I'm not talking about going to the gym and getting fit or buying the best new clothes. I'm talking about how you feel in your clothes that translate into feeling confident. Did you catch my poor attempt at a pun at the beginning of this video? We're talking about the basics. Okay, cut me some slack. I wanna back it up and talk about basics because they're the foundation of confidence in an outfit. So let's talk about undershirts, tees, and as a bonus, underwear, and how they up your confidence game. I wanna start by building the confidence from the inside of your outfit. First, I wanna say thank you to Rib Tea for sponsoring this video and providing the base layers that we're gonna be talking about today. I know I'm not the only one who's had his confidence completely thrown when I don't feel comfortable in my clothes. Like I said before, it just knocks you off your game. Whether you're having to retuck an undershirt or fix a tag in a tee or you know even mess with the boys because something's chafing, it's just not what you wanna be experiencing. A, nobody wants to see that. B, you look a little weird messing around with your junk or your shirt or whatever and having to run to the bathroom every 10 minutes just to get it adjusted. I wasn't somebody who paid attention to those base layers and that's pretty common because when you think about being confident in our clothes, we're not thinking about those layers that are touching our body first. We just grew up wearing them thinking that they're a necessity and not something that contributes to how we feel in our clothes. But I've seen their importance become more mainstream and more widely understood and I'm totally on that train because that confidence begins in those base layers and that's how we start feeling good in what we're wearing. So today, we're talking about the five things that are gonna help you pick the best basics or undergarments and feel confident in what you're wearing regardless of if you're heading out, going to work, or staying home. Number one, let's start with undershirts. Make sure you're going for one that's soft and is a material that feels good on your skin. Rib Tea uses Evo Tensile, which is a silk-like feeling fabric that is super thin and moisture wicking. It's designed to feel comfortable on your skin and almost like you're not wearing anything at all. So go thinner to get that confident feeling. Another major key is moisture wicking because we all know how sweat stains can cause discomfort and be total confidence killers. I personally tend to wear an undershirt with dress and casual shirts because I also wanna protect the outer shirt from those sweat stains. Now remember, moisture wicking and breathable are not the same thing. So those cotton shirts are breathable, but they don't necessarily wick the moisture away from your body. So it's time to get rid of those cotton shirts with the sweat stains because they're not helping you. Lastly, go for a tagless option because you don't wanna be fussing around with a tag at the neck or the side of your shirt. That's definitely another confidence killer. Basically, you're gonna wanna go for something that's thinner, moisture wicking, and tagless to help you feel confident in that undershirt. For number two, we're sticking with undershirts, but we're addressing fit. You wanna buy the right size. If you go for something that's too long or has too much material, you're gonna be fussing with it again. If it's too short, it's gonna keep popping out and you're gonna feel restricted. Those are both gonna be confidence killers as well. First, make sure that undershirt is long enough. Remember, the whole point is for it to stay tucked. It's not a T. So you want it to be long enough to stay tucked when you inevitably have to bend over or sit at your desk or you know get pushed into the middle of a dance circle at a wedding. You wanna be able to do those things and stay tucked and confident. The back of Rib Tea's undershirts are actually a little bit longer to help you stay tucked. Rib Tea does a really good job of designing their shirts to hug the body. So again, we're not getting that extra material to fuss around with under our shirts. 
Now they also have two different fits that I'm a fan of. The fitted, which is a little bit more tight to the body and hugs it a little bit more, and a more relaxed fit, which comes away from it a little bit, so it's just upon your preference and what feels good to you. Number three, when it comes to wearing undershirts, I do not wanna see that neckline. That is a major pet peeve of mine, especially when you're wearing a collared shirt. You shouldn't be able to see anything. It should be virtually invisible. In that case, it's gotta be a V-neck so I don't see it. If I can see a hint of that undershirt, it's a surefire way to know that you're wearing the wrong kind of shirt and that's gonna drive you nuts, trust me. Rip Tee offers a V-neck and also a deep V-neck so that you can leave that first couple of buttons of the shirt unbuttoned and not see anything, feel like yourself, total confidence booster this time. I know those first three points were a bit more dedicated to undershirts, but for number four, let's talk about tees. Now, what if you just wanna wear a simple tee out? Well, to you, my friend, I say, just make sure it's not the same as your undershirt even if you plan on layering it. Typically, those tees that you wear on their own are meant to be seen, so you want them to be clean and free of those pit stains. So most of those tips from the undershirt still apply to tees, except for the deep V. You don't want the deep V because you know why you don't want the deep V. You may also wanna consider a thicker material for those undershirts so they're not almost see-through. The Rib T t-shirt is a little bit thicker and more saturated in color and stands on its own. I'd be comfortable wearing this on its own or layered with an open button shirt. Now I still recommend going for something that's tagless and has softer materials. Rip T has a mix of tensile and spandex to give you a little bit of stretch. You might also see a Supima cotton which has longer fibers that help avoid pilling and stay softer longer. It's also worth looking at pre-shrunken like Rip T or pre-washed shirts so that you don't have to deal with the aftermath from washing it the first time. Lastly. Hang it up, keep it stored nicely because if you're gonna be wearing it off and on its own, you don't wanna come out wearing a ton of wrinkles. All right, number five. Wait, hey, what's that under there? I made you say it, didn't I? Okay, you at least thought it, right? Fine, give me the benefit of the doubt. We're talking about underwear for this last point. Again, the same rules for confidence and comfort apply when you're getting dressed below the waist. Find the right shape for you. I personally go for a boxer brief because it helps me avoid chafing, bunching, and constant adjusting. You know, the constant confidence killers that we've only been talking about this entire video. Rip Tee came out with this 3D pouch design as well, which is the first time I tried it, but it lets everything fit in there pretty comfortably while avoiding those problems we talked about. How do I know it works? Because I'm wearing them right now. The same principles apply here as the undershirts. You want something that's smooth and comfortable on your skin, as well as breathable and moisture wicking. And Rib Tee uses a cool nylon fabric that does all of that. When I first saw these, I thought it was gonna be like wearing compression shorts all day, which, you know, if you've done that after the gym, it isn't very comfortable. But these are actually comfortable and breathable, so another confidence booster from Rib Tee. If there's one thing you take away from this video, I want you to remember that how you feel in an outfit, regardless of what you're wearing or where you are, is more important than how you look in it. Getting those basics right is the first step in that. Key takeaways are get that fit right, have breathable and moisture wicking materials, have a separate t-shirt and undershirt selection, and do the same for the boys downstairs. Use these guidelines to set up your undergarment collection and avoid just one more confidence killer that gets in your way. Let me know down below in the comment if you've ever dealt with these same confidence killers or you have any other to add that I missed. Make sure to like and subscribe here and follow me on all other platforms at Threadability. Thank you again to Rib Tea for sponsoring this video and if you wanna check out their selection, I've got it linked down below in the description and you can use code FIRST20 to get a little bit of a discount there as well. Until next time.